Blazor has some fantastic updates for .NET 7. However, there is a bug with one of the new features. Stay tuned to this video to find out which one. Remember to hit the red subscribe button or go to youtube.com slash round the code to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Learn .NET, Dependency Injection and Blazor WebAssembly with Round the Code's online courses. Go to roundthecode.com slash courses. One of the new features for Blazor in .NET 7 is the bind, get, set and after modifiers. So Microsoft have provided some documentation for this. So components now support two-way binding. The bind get specifies the value to bind and the bind set specifies a callback for when that value is changed. So they provided us an example here. So in this input, it's being bound to the value property, which is in here. And then once that is set, it's called in this event call back here called value changed. They've also added a bind after. What this is doing in this example is that the search text member is being binded to this input here. And then once that has happened, the perform search method is happening, which is performing some sort of search. Now I've got this input text box and what I'm doing is I'm binding it to this new item member. The new item is just a property with a standard get and set modifier. I've also created the validate new item method. What this is doing is it's checking the length of the new item and if it's empty, it's displaying an error message saying the text box is empty. What I should be able to do is call the new bind colon after modifier and I can call the method name inside that. However, when I do that, I'm getting this error saying cannot convert from event callback to system action. This looks like to be a bug with Blazor in .NET 7. Now this is only an issue if you're using version 7.0.0 of the .NET 7 SDK. Microsoft have acknowledged that there is an issue and there's a planned fix for it in 7.0.1. What I did manage to do though is I managed to revert back some of these packages to the release candidate. So let's go ahead and do that. Just update them to the release candidate 2. Rerun the project and we can see now it's running. Running the project in Visual Studio, we can now see that this is working for us. Download our .NET code samples by going to roundthecode.com slash .NET hyphen samples. Thanks very much for watching and hit a like on the video.